a couple of years ago, heard about it in the Parade, Parade Magazine, Sunday Flyer, a little article on Farm Rescue back in uh, 2009, I believe. I sent them an email and then uh, submitted an app to do some work for them. I did farm work for many years before I lived in the city. When I lived in small towns, I did farm work, so I applied with them and you tell me your experience on farm equipment. With the volunteers, they're all good, good-hearted people. We've had, uh, I've met folks from Minnesota and North Dakota and um, this, this trip I'm meeting a host of new volunteers here on this particular job, but every one of them is just, you know, they're outstanding people. They obviously have a good heart and uh, you know, have a good work ethic, a good work background. They obviously have uh, the experience working on the farms, but every one of them are just uh, excellent people to work with. One of the most obvious ways to volunteer is the, to run the equipment, but, but I know there's a host of other opportunities to help with farm rescue too. So I'd, I would encourage people to volunteer for that or, you know, any outfit that they're, they feel passionate about to, just to get involved in their community and, and help out. I, I, this happens to be a passionate area of mine, agriculture and farming, but uh, I'd encourage anybody to find their passion and, and volunteer for whatever it is that they're passionate about. My dad was a grade eight dairy farmer for 40 years, so I, uh, I grew up around that, grew up around the farming agriculture, put up hay in the summertime for some local outfits and drove grain, grain carts and different, different things on farm and a little bit of the dairy farm that my dad sold the dairy farm before I was too old to really participate in that, but I was always around the agricultural community for first 25 years of my life. This is my second year of volunteering with Farm Rescue. I do take a, a week of vacation and then Intel sponsors a week also. So uh, when I can work it out on a given year, I prefer to do two weeks if I can, a week of harvest and a week of planting. Just depends on the year, but in general, I'll take a week of vacation and Intel will basically employ me for a week. And they are, they're a big sponsor of volunteer stuff, so it's not a not unusual for thing for them to allow employees to volunteer for some organization that they're passionate about. Uh, you know, I have a little bit of personal interest being from Nebraska. I have some family over here that's close by in Iowa, so there's another connection for, for me and just on a personal level, but I'm happy to see them expanding into Iowa and they've been in Minnesota and in uh, South Dakota, and so I'm, I'm glad that they're able to help more farmers get a bigger reach. An amazing amount of sponsors that just, they, they, uh, they donate a lot. The operation wouldn't survive without RDO and sponsors like Walmart and the Pizza Ranch and just the equipment that RDO uh, provides is, is top notch. It's just outstanding uh, equipment. It's almost always new or a year old or something like that. It's, it's excellent running equipment. Uh, no issues with that. It just makes it a joy to actually do the work because the equipment's in tip top shape always. You don't have to worry about breakdowns. It's just, it's couldn't be better. There, there's tons of sponsors that contribute in different ways and it's just unbelievably, it's fantastic that that they're they're willing to step up and support the organization like that. Um, organization simply couldn't couldn't survive without their help. So, thank you. The, the whole experience is just a joy between the equipment, the, uh, the operators, the volunteers, and the families themselves. You know they're very thankful to have you there. They are they're in, in some type of crisis that varies from farm to farm, but at the end of the day, they're very thankful to have you there. So, it's a it's just an outstanding opportunity to, to help them out, and they're very grateful to have you there.